spinal stenosis, narrowing of the spinal canal and narrowing of the foramen. There are two types of spinal stenosis, central stenosis and lateral stenosis. It occurs because of hypertrophy of the facets and the ligamentum flavum and the spine arthritis. It will cause compression of the nerve root. This is the one where the back pain is better with flexion because it opens the foramen, the shopping car sign. It's worse with extension of the back. So when you lean forward, you increase the foramen size by 12%. When you lean backwards, you reduce the size of the foramen by about 20%. A neurological exam is normal in about 50% of the patient. The central stenosis is the one that will give you neurologic claudication. Patient may have leg pain, back pain, buttock pain, weakness, cramps of the calf, and the heavy sensation. The grocery cart sign, the flexion of the back. History is the key for making the diagnosis of spinal stenosis. The lateral recess will give you the ridiculous symptoms. It can occur in the nerve root canal, and that is the lateral recess stenosis, or in the intervertebral foramen, and this is the neuroforaminal stenosis. Look for other conditions, such as hip problems, metastatic tumors, or vascular. Always examine the pulses. Neurogenic claudication and vascular claudication can coexist. Walking is bad for both conditions. Sitting relieves the symptoms in both conditions. The stopping and the standing is still is good for the vascular claudication, but it still causes symptoms for lumbar stenosis. Then we take the bicycle, which will relieve the symptoms for lumbar stenosis and will aggravate the condition for vascular claudication. In vascular claudication, the pain starts in the calf and leg. In neurogenic claudication, the pain starts proximally and spread distally. It seems like postural changes of the spine will make the neurogenic claudication worse, but will not affect the vascular claudication. Vascular claudication will be affected by muscle movement, muscle function, like walking, like riding a bicycle. In neurogenic claudication, leaning over while riding the bicycle will relieve the symptoms in the same way as the shopping cart sign. How about the treatment? The operative treatment will entail decompression. If it is a central canal, you will do laminectomy. If it is lateral recess, you will do medial fasciitectomy, but you will add fusion for instability, or if we removed more than 50% of bilateral facets. So look at the x-rays or the MRI. If there is a slip of the vertebra, then you will do fusion in addition to the laminectomy. The risk of pseudoarthrosis is 500% with smoking. Depression and other comorbidities can affect the outcome. In two years, patients treated with surgery are better in pain and function than the patient treated conservatively. Also, the most common reason of failed surgery is recurrence of the disease. Patient with lumbar stenosis Walking in the mall, is it bad or good? It is bad, unless the patient has a shopping cart. 
If you have a patient with low back pain and have gait disturbance, hyperreflexia, then he got an upper motor neuron lesion, then you need to think of the C-spine. You need to get C-spine MRI after you examine the patient. Think of cervical myelopathy. Lumbar stenosis doesn't give these findings. Let's go to other items. Patient with a spinal stenosis, a spondylolisthesis, or facet disease will have pain with extension of the lumbar spine. Pain with lumbar spine flexion will suggest a disc-related disorder. How about the Faber test? Faber test is for sacroiliac joint. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.